name is Eva Wozniak and I am a senior at Bloomsburg University. Today, I will be covering the donation from Kirby Confer that will be used towards the renovations of the James H. McCormick Center. The construction of the McCormick Center was completed in 1984. The building was named after Dr. James H. McCormick, who was president of Bloomsburg State College from 1973 to 1983. The McCormick Center was last renovated in 2007 when the university added on a 23,600 square foot addition that added two large lecture halls that fit 250 students each. The building is due for its 30 year annual renovation to start in December 2022. Kirby Confer, who is not a Bloomsburg University alum, donated $5.3 million to the university this past December to be used for the renovations of McCormick. He has donated more than $6.1 million total to the university. I met with Tom Rohl, who works for the Bloomsburg University Foundation, to find out more about Kirby Confer and how his donations will be used. I've been with the Bloomsburg University Foundation for about almost six years now uh, in this role as a relationship manager. Um, I go out and I, I visit alumni in the hope of raising some philanthropic support to help our students here at Bloomsburg. Kirby is an amazing, amazing individual um, who has a sincere desire to help young people uh, and prepare them for a career in radio. Um, I've known Kirby for about five years and when I called and we were working on this gift and so forth, and um, I said, Kirby, uh, I said uh, something to the effect that, you know, we've only just begun. He breaks into immediate song. We've only just begun by the Carpenters. I mean, that's just Kirby. The donation will be used uh, in part to build out the renovation of the McCormick Center, uh, and it will essentially create the Kirby Confer Media Center that will be a showcase for the, our media and journalism department here on campus. Well, the gift that he gave in December, that was announced in December, in addition to providing uh, some financial assistance for the renovation of the McCormick Center, it will also, uh, a significant part of it will be for an endowment that will support the Confer Radio Talent Institute that's a, a summer institute that Kirby has, has uh, sponsored since 2014. Um, it will also aid in scholarships and, and, and add some administrative support um, for the overall area of the, the media, new media center. <laughs> Probably one of my favorite memories of Kirby is when uh, he was speaking to a group of students uh, up at Buckaloo, and I walked in. I had stepped out of the room and I walked back in, and he was demonstrating the importance of, of uh, interaction with your audience um, by dancing on top of the table. And he, at the time, was 79 or 80 but that's just how enthusiastic and passionate it, he is about, about the industry, about teaching, and that's probably one of my most favorite memories of Kirby. I also met with senior media and journalism student, Katie Rose, to find out more about how Kirby Confer has affected her time at Bloomsburg. So I've received three Kirby Confer scholarships during my time at BU. And one of them was for the Kirby Confer Radio Talent Institute, which I'll talk about later. And two of them were Kirby Confer scholarship awards that were applied to my tuition and fees at Bloomsburg University. I think the biggest and most obvious way that the scholarships have helped me is financially. Uh, the financial support from Kirby Confer and his wife who donate together have helped me to continue my education here at Bloomsburg. It definitely lifted some of the burden of the costs of attending college, and I'm very thankful to them for that. I am also really thankful for the chance to attend the Confer Radio Talent Institute in 2019. I received a full scholarship for that as well, so I didn't have to pay anything to attend that. 
it's a whole 10 day intensive, just whole, like you learn like everything that you would ever want to know about the radio industry during the Institute. And I'm really thankful that I received that scholarship from Kirby because I wouldn't know all the things I know about radio now had I not experienced that and learned from the over 40 to 50 radio professionals that we listened to uh, like their sessions where they present it to us. We interacted with them one on one. We got to network with them. We got to enjoy meal and some drinks over at West End each night with the presenters for that day. We also went to a radio station in Philly as well one day and we got to learn all about sports broadcasting as far as radio goes from professionals there. We got to sit in on a show, talk show, and yeah, it was, it was just a great experience. Yeah, I mean, Kirby's one of those people that you could sit down and, and talk to, to for hours. The sun could set before you're done. He just always has lots of stories to tell. Probably you'll learn a new story anytime you sit down with him. He just has all these crazy stories to tell about his life and how he got involved in radio and what he's done. And uh, despite all of that, I think my favorite memory of Kirby is when he told me during the Talent Institute that he had the perfect radio name for me. And I, I was just taken aback because I was thinking, wow, like, I wonder what this name is gonna be. My name is Katie Rose, that, that's my actual name. And I hear all the time that it flows well and other things about my name. And I was just wondering like, what is gonna top this that doesn't sound like it doesn't fit me at all. And Kirby grabbed me by the arm, took me down the hallway over here in McCormick, and he told me that my radio name should be Baby K. So I've never forgotten that. If you hear Baby K on the airwaves one day, that's me. I think thank Kirby for that. Kirby Confer has had a huge impact on Bloomsburg University and its students. The renovations to the McCormick Center will take two years to complete. I'm Eva Wozniak, and this has been your update on the McCormick Center renovations.